Hey, hey, welcome back to the Zero Excuses podcast. My name is Kenny Nziska, your host and founder. I want to thank you for tuning in to today's episode. Whether you're, you've been a long-time listener for the uh, close to 50 episodes now that we've uh, released, or if this is your first time tuning in, uh, I, I appreciate you guys taking time out of your schedules to spend time with me. I take that very seriously. I believe that time is our most valuable resource, and it's something that I that I don't take lightly, and I'm super appreciative of you guys tuning in today. This is the Deacons of Discipline series. This is a series that I bring every Monday and Friday. I comb the internet for some of the world's most successful people. I bring you some of their, some of their words, their knowledge, their strategies, and tips, tricks, whatever it may be, and break them down into some actionable practical steps that you can take and implement in your life right now. So today I'm going to play a sound bike from from Simon Sinek. You might know him as the best-selling author of Start With Why. He's a motivational speaker and just an all-around smart dude. Uh, this this clip I'm going to play for you is is titled Know Your Destination. I talk a lot about having a vision, knowing what your goals are and knowing where you're going in life. And this this clip drives that point home very beautifully. And you're going to hear Simon, you know, make some uh, pretty cool analogies, talk about a few, uh, you know, a couple, couple differences in uh, the way people approach their lives. And then stay tuned afterwards. I'm going to break that sound clip down for you, like I said, into some a uh, couple practical steps that you can uh, take right now. Some some mind mindset shifts that you can uh, that you can start to make right now. So without any further ado, let's play this clip. Imagine we're standing in a big empty room, right? And we're standing in one corner, and I give you a simple instruction. I want you to go to that corner in a straight line, right? Off you go, no big deal, right? Without telling you, I slip a chair in front of you. What do you do? You go around the chair. Now you just disobeyed what I told you to do. I told you to go to that corner straight line. But this is the amazing things about human beings, which is when we're given a clear destination, we use our own creativity and our own sense of innovation and our own problem solving abilities to overcome obstacles to get to the destination. In other words, the destination is more important than the route, right? We are flexible about the route. We are obsessed with the destination. Reset. We're standing in the corner together and I give you a simple instruction. Go somewhere in this room in a straight line. And you say to me, well, where do you want me to go? I'm like, I don't know. You're smart, figure it out. Go in a straight line. And so you pick a point and you start walking. And without telling you, I put a chair in front of you. And what do you do? You come to a grinding halt. And I say, what'd you stop for? You go, well, you put a chair in front of me. Or you'll make a sudden turn and go in another direction, right? And this is the problem. It's the same obstacle. The difference is when you have a clear, set, a clear destination, the obstacles become easy to overcome. When you don't have a clear destination, you keep coming to a grinding halt. And what we do in our companies is we're counting the steps we're taking along the route. Man, that's some powerful stuff right there. But let's start breaking this down. The, the overall message that Simon wants you to get out of this is that, that we have to know where we're going. And we also have to be flexible about the route by which we get there. And there's so many of a, there's basically two types of people that he talks about here. There's one person who, who's set a clear vision for themselves and know where they're going. And they are very, very dead set on getting to their destination. Jeff uh, Bezos, the founder of uh, Amazon, has another saying. And it's be willing to divorce the strategy, but be rigid on your outcome. So that's another way to to put what uh, Simon says here. You know, there's a there's a very alarming statistic, and I keep mentioning uh, alarming statistics on on the show here. But I I read recently that 98 percent of people in the U.S. have no goals, no goals whatsoever. So you know, and and I happen to be one of them for for the longest time up until uh, very recently. So. If you're listening to a podcast like this or very similar ones that are out there, I, I, I'm willing to bet that you are either part of that 2% or you're aspiring to be. So, you know, 
the reason that most people don't live their lives to their fullest and don't fulfill their dreams is that they don't sit down and craft a vision. They don't sit down and distill that vision down into goals. And then they don't distill though they don't distill those goals down into daily habits and daily disciplines that they need to to have. And it's a I don't mean to oversimplify things, but there's so many of us that, that fail to take those three basic steps and we we walk around life aimlessly. We chase after shiny objects. We go after uh, what uh, what the Joneses have. So that's why it's so important for us to have a destination. And then another another point that Simon makes is that when obstacles present themselves, those two different types of people have two completely different reactions to those obstacles. The first type of person that has a destination, has a vision, has a why, they simply, it, it largely, it doesn't really affect them that much. They just simply take a step to the side, go around the obstacle, or look at the obstacle as, as a means to extract some knowledge temper their resolve, and really use that obstacle to drive them forward. The second type of person, the people without goals that don't have a vision, the the moment that an obstacle presents itself, they either stop or they, they move in a completely different direction and say, oh, well, that was hard. Uh, maybe, I sh- maybe this goal wasn't meant for me. So that's what I have for you guys today. Appreciate you tuning in. You know, that that short little sound clip, I I hope that made a huge impact on you. And I hope that you guys walk away with this inspired to craft your vision and really start moving in a positive direction in your lives. That's my ultimate goal here is to to help the alpha man uh, start moving in a positive direction, build some discipline, regain control over your time so you can you can improve your health, your wealth and for some deep and lasting connections. And that's that's my ultimate goal here with this podcast and, and everything else that's going on around uh, z- the Zero Excuses uh, movement here. But if you want to take this to the next level, if you want to engage in the conversations that, that we are having here in the podcast and take this a little further, I encourage you to, to check out a couple resources that we have. First is our closed Facebook group. You can join us there at facebook.com slash groups slash zero excuses. Remember, excuses is spelled without the E, X, C, U, S, E, S. Another resource that, that, I, that we have available to you is my discipline consulting and coaching program where I work one-on-one with, with alpha men to help start craft, crafting their vision start distilling that down into their goals and daily habits and also work on the mindset and and the the various tools and strategies that you need to have to to regain control over your time, build wealth and health and forge deep and lasting connections. You can check that out at kenyanzitska.com slash discipline. There's a very short survey that you fill out and you can schedule a free 60 minute uh, consulting session with me and we'll see if you're a good fit for that program but remember it's not for everyone you got to be willing to invest the time money and energy into going after your goals going after your vision all right well thanks again for tuning in and i will talk at you soon